catch up and get ahead with the edge for the week of May 10th. Austin residents had a message for Uber. Money can't buy you love. By a margin of 56% to 44%, Austin voters resoundingly rejected Proposition 1 and kept the requirement that drivers for ride-hailing companies pass 10 fingerprint background checks. Lyft and Uber spent $8 million campaigning for Prop 1, according to KUT, Austin's public radio station. That's eight times as much as has ever been spent on a local Austin election before. Uber and Lyft said they'd leave town rather than comply with the regulations. But according to the Texas Tribune, a new company known as GetMe is ready to fill the gap and has no problem complying with local regulations, including fingerprint background checks. At Nowcast SA, we have some quick answers to common questions, including an article debunking the myth that ride-hailing companies cause a drop in drunk driving crashes. The American Lung Association just issued a report giving Bear County an F for ozone. That's only a problem if you breathe. San Antonio has unhealthy levels of ozone that could cause premature death, asthma attacks, and heart disease, according to the American Lung Association's just-released State of the Air report. Councilman Ron Nuremberg says San Antonio should get moving and clean up the air after flunking the ozone test. He's looking ahead at a new city ordinance that would stop big trucks, trucks from idling their engines more than five minutes. This month would be the 100th birthday of former congressman who was so beloved that most San Antonians referred to him simply as Henry B. We at Nowcast SA live-streamed the day-long celebration of Gonzalez's centennial that included his friends and family recalling vivid stories about his legacy and impact. At the heart of it all was Henry B. Gonzalez's dedication to public service and to the people he represented. All the practical things where government interfaces with people, he worked. He had a fantastic constituency service reputation. Uh, the one unforgivable sin in his office staff was not to answer people's calls and not to respond to their letters, and not to take care of the problem that they had. And if they wouldn't do it, he did it himself. About 1,000 COPS Metro Alliance members gathered at Edison High School to honor their leaders and celebrate 40 years of change. At the same time, they're pushing forward with a campaign to have public sector workers be paid a living wage. San Antonio Independent School District Chair Patty Radel thanked the group for helping the district raise wages by 20% for its entry-level employees this year. Watch the video as San Antonio City Council members Ron Nuremberg, Shirley Gonzalez, Roberto Trevino, and Rebecca Villagran respond to cops about increasing wages more for city employees. Will you support establishing a wage requirement of $9.50 an hour for future city contracts? Yes, I will, with very much pride. I'm proud to do so. Thank you. That was a yes. <laughs> Councilwoman Villagran, your response, please. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Councilman Trevino, your response. Yes and yes. Wonderful. Thank you. Mr. Nuremberg, your response. Yes, and on that second point, it should have been done a long time ago. Thank you. Find all of this and more at nowcastsa.com. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next time.